waste pickers in Contenu, Benin. Waste pickers collect, sort and process recyclable materials all around the world. This service creates jobs for an estimated 15 million people. Furthermore, they contribute to the conservation of natural resources and energy, alongside offer solutions towards climate change mitigation and socially inclusive solid waste management. The environmental injustices caused by uncontrollable waste disposal is that water and air is contaminated by the waste that is dumped, and over time this piles up and worsens making daily life dangerous for all those who work on or live around the dumps. The conditions of the dumps spreads illnesses and epidemics and impacts the food chain. Taking a closer look at the largest city in Benin, Cotonou, we can examine the environmental injustices occurring on a daily basis and how waste pickers are trying to transform this to become more sustainable. Cotonou suffers from serious environmental contamination as a result of uncontrolled waste disposal. The city produces around 700 to 800 tonnes of waste per day. The pinnacle of environmental injustices and Benin's deficiencies in proper waste management was shown in 2016 when there was an explosion at one of the informal dump sites in Cotonou which killed 18 people and seriously injured 90 more. This was as a result of the disregard to safety standards by the government. Some of the city's waste ends up polluting the waters of Lake Nakui, the lagoon or the sea, where the majority of shoreline is now covered with rubbish. This contributes to an increase in health risks, including waterborne diseases and clogging of sewers with solid waste. This is where Julienne Manji and her team come in. Julienne is the president of an association of women waste pickers in Cotonou who are responsible for the recovery and recycling of discarded rubbish. Julienne began her organisation in 2008 with 30 members and since then has grown to 366 members. Before the introduction of waste picker associations, the job was wildly more dangerous and not considered an actual job. The pickers had no voice, no rights and no safety concerns. Now, with the introduction of these associations, slowly but surely, waste pickers are gaining more rights and recognition, transforming the field into a more safe and visible line of work. This community-based recycling initiative is integral to sustainability within Cotonou, and Julienne's team, alongside the three other waste picker associations of Benin, have greatly contributed to the just transformations to sustainability. The missions of the Global Alliance of Waste Pickers to combat environmental injustices and create a stronger force for sustainable development. Their missions are to commit to work for the social and economic inclusion of the waste picker population and promote and strengthen organisations to help them move up the value chain and to be included and given priority in formal waste management systems. To reject the use of incineration and landfill-based technologies and demand and create processes that promote zero waste or the maximum utilisation of waste such as reuse, recycling and composting. These ideas represent viable socio-economic alternatives for the informal and marginalised sectors of the global population. To continue sharing knowledge, experiences and technology, as these actions will promote and accelerate contact the greatest possible number of waste pickers and their organisations across the world, making visible their living and working conditions and their contributions to sustainable development. And finally, to advocate for improved laws and public policies that effectively involve waste picker organisations. Waste pickers should become actors in decision-making processes with the goal of improving working conditions, developing knowledge and seeking the recognition and professionalisation of their work. Transformations to sustainability. Recycling provides productive work for an estimated 1% of the population in developing countries. Waste picking and recycling provides 10 times as many jobs per tonne of waste as does incinerators and landfills. Recycling reduces emissions 25 times more than incineration does. Waste picking also saves money 
Much less energy is required to manufacture goods from recycled materials such as glass, metals and plastics. In the case of paper and wood products, recycling paper products means less demand for wood and less deforestation. Waste pickers' efforts to expand and formalise operations should be supported. This will result in more resource recovery, productive work, better working conditions and reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you for watching.